Hello, I'm Roger from PSI Audio here in Switzerland. And today I'd like to explain, first of all, how important the room is as a contributor to listening quality. Secondly, that the biggest problem in almost all rooms is room modes. And third, how you can deal with these room modes with active absorption, which is extremely effective to reduce these room modes. So it's generally considered that 99% of sound quality comes from the loudspeakers, the source of sound and the room itself. So both are extremely important. First of all, it's important to understand that the direct sound will convey all the information on the source of sound. So what comes out of your speaker or your musical instrument will convey all the information on the source and has to be as accurate as possible. So in a room you have all the indirect sound. And the indirect sound is composed with first reflections from the source of sound to your ear. And these first reflections will give you information on how big the room is, the spatiality in the obstacles that are in your way. Then you have the reverb time, which gives you information on the size of the room also, but also what it's made of, what the structure is made of, and how hard it is or how soft it is. And all of this is extremely important so that you have a coherent sound stage and sound image of where you're standing. So room acoustics is probably just as important as your sound reproduction system, but it's very often neglected. And the biggest problem you have are always room modes. So acoustic treatment needs to interact with sound waves and any passive system to interact with a certain wave has to be approximately the same dimension it can't be much much smaller so it's very important to understand the dimension of the sound waves we're talking about we can hear between 20 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz a factor 1000 in the frequencies we hear uh, so the wavelengths we're talking about also have a factor 1000 going from 1.7 centimeters at 20,000 hertz all the way up to 17 meters at 20 hertz and 17 meters is probably several times the size of your room so it's easy to understand that it's much easier to deal with high frequencies small wavelengths than to deal with low frequencies very big wavelengths the biggest problem in almost all rooms are low frequency room modes so room modes are low frequency resonances that occur when sound bounces back and forth between walls and reinforces or cancels each other. They happen when a wavelength corresponds to one of the dimensions of the room. They will typically be between 15 and 150 hertz in most rooms. So a room mode is a standing wave that will have a high pressure against the wall. The pressure will go down to be zero in the middle of the room and up again to be at its maximum against the other wall. Then it will come back reinforcing the nulls and the peaks. So why are low frequency room modes a problem? First of all, because they are standing waves and they will resonate much longer than other frequencies in your room. Secondly, they will have a masking effect on higher frequencies and reduce the clarity by creating a fogginess and a veil over the other frequencies. Thirdly, they will also disperse the stereo image in the low frequencies. But worst of all, they are very low frequencies, between 15 and 150 Hertz, so any passive device has to be either tuned or extremely large to be able to interact with them. As a reminder, 20 Hertz is 17 meters, so you need several meters of passive treatment to interact with 20 Hertz wavelengths. In a large concert hall, of course, it's possible to have very large bass traps, but in a normal sized room, a studio or living room, space is limited and it's not possible to have several meters of bass traps in the corners. Now, there is another solution, which is using active devices to deal with room modes. And our technology, the AVAA technology, is extremely effective at dealing with room modes all the way down to 15 Hertz. This is our AVAA C214, active bass trap. It works just like a passive resonator, but a resonator will only move a little bit on its resonance frequency. So you have to tune it to the frequency you want to absorb. Being active, an active membrane can move not only on its resonance frequency, but on any frequency, and it can move further, actively pulling pressure from further away. And this is exactly how this works. There's a microphone that detects the pressure and then there's two membranes, which are drivers, which will pull the pressure out from about a metre and a half to two metres around it. This means it requires no calibration, neither for setup, neither each time you do a change in your room. The only thing you can play with is where you locate it in your room. 
Remember, it's a pressure-based absorber, so you want to position it where there's the most pressure on the room modes in your room. And that'll typically be the corners and the most rigid corners. So treating the room modes in your room with AVAAs will typically reduce the resonance time by 30 to 50%, bringing it down to the same level as the other frequencies. The results will be, well, tighter bass, of course, but then there'll be reduced masking effects over the higher frequencies and more clarity all the way through the spectrum. You'll also have a clearer and a cleaner sound stage and stereo image all the way down to the bottom end. This will result in less fatigue and more pleasure when listening to music. The AVAA is an acoustic solution to an acoustic problem without changing anything that comes out of your speaker, your accurate source of sound. Active absorption is not noise cancelling. Noise cancelling will emit a sound that will cancel out another sound in one location. So you're emitting something of equal amplitude but out of phase with the sound you want to cancel in one location. Absorption is a membrane that will move back or forth reactively to the pressure it receives. But being active, it can move first further, pulling pressure from further away, and of course it can move on any frequency without having to be tuned. To summarize, the AVAA is extremely effective all the way down to 15 Hz. It's simple, no setting up, no calibration required. It's compact and elegant, much, much smaller than any passive device that would do the same job. And it's a flexible, movable device which you can take with you when you move room or house. It's probably the most valuable sound quality improvement you can get for your room.